Ag is short for agriculture, um, which is the study of food, fiber, and natural resources. Basically, how do we create systems that help people on this earth survive? Um, and so it involves three separate pathways. Um, we've got the agricultural sciences, where students learn the essential science skills that are make them college and career ready um, through an agricultural lens. When students become part of an agriculture class, they're automatically a part of the FFA organization, which used to stand for Future Farmers of America, but now has um, changed the name to really reflect the fact that it's for every type of student who seeks to develop leadership and character. There's also like floral and ag mech, so you can go off of your interest in a lot of different things like the arts or science, and you can find your place anywhere. Uh, ag has really helped me a lot in like my high school career and just my life overall. It has brought me a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of kids that come into Ag and they were really shy at the beginning, but there's not only a lot of students that are super welcoming, but also teachers. They always reach out to you if they can see that you're someone who's shy. If you're interested in joining Ag, it doesn't matter if your background is um, just living in like the suburbs of Galt or if you live in the country and you have a couple cows, it doesn't really matter. You can always get involved, just go for it because you never know where it might take you. The BEST Academy stands for BEST, Biomedical Engineering Science and Technology. The three pathways are the Biomedical Science Pathway, the Engineering Pathway, and the Technology Pathway. In all of those pathways, we have three or more years of courses. There's quite a variety of skills that we hope students learn. We hope they get exposed to the pathways and the technical aspects so they can choose if that's what they want to pursue in college. Often we hear things like students want to be an engineer and then they start their freshman year of college and realize it's not what they want to do at all but it's hard to change once you've started on that pathway in college. So we really want to give students the chance in high school to experience and help make those informed decisions of what they do or don't like. I joined the Best Academy because I was really interested in the technology pathway and I wanted to learn more about how to code and how to do things within the classroom, but I also wanted to meet new people. I joined the Best Academy because I was very interested in most medical field and uh, computer technology, so I thought it'd be a good way to, you know, get my hands into it and really figure out what I liked more and I switched from more of the biomedical side over to the engineering because I found this was much more interesting. In AP Computer Science we have doing we have been doing things like App Inventor where we're learning how to make an app and how to use it to benefit people so we've done like a stress app to try and help people that have anxiety and stress and then right now we're starting Python so we're learning how to like type certain codes out. You know freshman, sophomore year I tried joining GTech but I just felt lost. I just felt nervous to say anything and just stopped going. And junior year, uh, since I took POE, which is Principles of Engineering, which uh, tells you a lot about VEX pieces, and that's what we use. I felt more confident on my abilities. HEALS is the Health Education and Life Skills Department. There's three different pathways. The first pathway is the Careers with Children pathway, and that is for students that really think that they might want to work with children either in the medical or the educational field someday. And then there's the culinary pathway, and that's for students that want to see whether they want to work with food in some way, whether it's nutrition or maybe be uh, a chef, uh, like what they see on TV. And then there's the interior design pathway, and that's for students that want to design their own living or workspace, or maybe create displays for uh, retail stores. I really like going off campus and working with the children and having uh, an internship at the Fair Site Preschool because I really get to um, interact with the children and meet the teachers and see what it's like to uh, work as a teacher with the children. What I really enjoy about teaching all of these different classes is that I get to see my students blossom into the young adults that they are on the road to becoming. It's really very, very gratifying 
to see students say, I want to become a pediatrician, or I want to become a pediatric nurse, or I want to go into teaching as a result of your class and hands-on experience with the children. VAPA stands for Visual and Performing Arts. It is a program um, that is really geared towards those kids who are artistically minded, that are very creative, um, and like to express themselves in different ways. Within VAPA, we have a, a wide range of courses um, because we have the visual end and the performing end. In the performing end, we have band, guitar, choir, um, we have theater classes, we have theater production, because they're loud and excited and love what they're doing. I think VAPA is a great, a great pathway to go to. A great. There's a lot of different types of people in VAPA. It taught me to be like more expressing of myself. The way VAPA emphasized artistic abilities definitely brings out your creative side. Like, I know a lot of kids who, for the longest time, said like, oh, I'm not creative at all, that's, that's someone else's job in a project, like, I'm not creative. But immediately, like, even if you join, join the theater, the ceramics, the art, you're able to find that creative side to you and express it more, that way it's, you're more of a creative person. You get to know yourself a lot more that way if you join the classes. 